Hello, we're the Family Circle Gospel Singers, and we'd like to thank WLJC for supporting our music. And uh, we li would like for everyone that could listen in, we thank you and we appreciate your support. And we uh, like to tell too that our mom how much she enjoyed being here. So whenever you can, get a chance to support WJC, please do that. Thank you. Hello. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We have a lot of uh, fine folk to greet you and we believe uh, we've been praying for the service and we believe we're going to have a good service. What I mean by good is that there's people here that really loves the Lord and the Holy Spirit is here and uh, he is always here to honor prayer requests and to answer prayer. And Dottie, and she has other help uh, on the t telephones. If you need to call, well, be sure and do it. So we welcome each of you to stay with us. We have a very short scripture tonight, but we just want you to remember how important that you are to the Lord. Psalms 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and who healeth all thy diseases. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction, and crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. And then jumping over here to uh, the 17th verse, it says, But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children. You know, that is what we look forward to, is God's blessing being on our uh, generation coming up, because that is so important. But, you know, we must ne not forget all the benefits that we have in serving God. He, can, he will forgive us of all of our sins and heal us of all of our diseases and renew our strength. So what more do we want in this world? You know, we're not here to stay forever. All right, tonight, if you need help and you want to call, then feel free to do so. And then that 17th verse, remember that, to pray over your children, that the mercy of the Lord is for them also. Well, to start out with tonight, we have some of our good friends that uh, is uh, has come by tonight, and we're so happy to see them, and that's Pastor Roy and Geraldine McIntosh from over at Boonville, and so they're going to greet you right now. Good afternoon. Glad to be here. I'm so glad that the Lord has strengthened me enough to come back out up here tonight, and I just appreciate Him so much. I miss being here, and I just thank Him tonight that I can come, get to come back tonight and be with everybody, and, and y'all continue praying for me. I have good days and bad. I'm still claiming my healing. Praise God. And I just thank the Lord for everything he's done for me. Yes. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's, you know, it's, I just you know, think about how good it is to be part of the body of Christ. Amen. It's good to be knowing that we've got a place to go to someday, which is going to be home to us for eternity. Not a place called hell, but a place called heaven. And I'm looking forward to that. And like WLJC here, this is a great thing for this country, for people to listen to, so if you're out there now and you lost and undone, you call in up there and somebody will help you. And if you, you know, if you've got anything you want to, to donate or give, send it to this station because let me tell you, it'll be put to good use because the Word of God is going to go out. It's going to go out. Somebody's going to hear it. But we're glad to be here tonight. It's, it's good to be here. It's good to be, be, be part, part of WOJC. God bless you. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to ask... Uh, uh, Brother Roy, to uh, lead us in prayer uh, for the service, and then we're going to get into some singing. We have a lot of singing coming up, so would you folk lead us in prayer? 
Dear Heavenly Father, we, we just thank you for letting us be here tonight, Lord. And we thank you for your love and your grace. We ask you, God, to bless everyone that's here today, tonight. Anyone that's partaking in this tonight, we ask you to bless them abundantly, Lord. Touch them, Lord. And we ask you to open up the hearts of the folks out there tonight that needs a touch from you. We ask you, God, tonight to let your spirit go through this land and touch hearts. We ask you, Lord, to heal the sick, Lord, and save the lost. Touch them that's lost and undone tonight. And Lord, we ask you for a blessing tonight on the singers, Lord, as they come to sing, to sing for you, Lord Jesus, that they'll go out and some heart will open up and hear this. And we give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate Roy and Geraldine for being here. And they're going to be up there on the phones. Now, if you'd like to, for them to pray with you, they'd be glad to. All right, our first group of singers, we have the Murphy family from uh, Corbin, Kentucky, and uh, they do have CDs for sale. You may call 606-515-1670. Now these, uh, and also uh, Russell is, uh, is pastoring a, a church now, New Beginnings Church of God, and he can tell you a little about that. And of course his uh, twin daughters is with him as usual. Now these uh, folk have, this family has been coming to WLJC for a good number of years and uh, when uh, I think the girls were like nine years old when they first started and so we have uh, been able, blessed to watch them grow up and, and get married and, uh, and now we have some more news. Uh, Stephanie the, uh, plays the, uh, the guitar there, nice. uh, the bass, she is... Uh, going to be a mommy for the first time in in August and uh, so we're all excited about that and it's going to be a boy so uh, I'm sure that you'd appreciate all your prayers and so of course Russell and his wife are all excited and getting uh, all uh, geared up to be grandparents that's yeah. a great thing and then Tiffany she's uh, looking forward to helping to babysit with <laughs> that little one so it's going to be a blessed baby because there'll be a lot of love uh, sure. for the baby and so you help uh, pray that it'll be a good healthy normal baby and she'll have a safe and easy delivery so right now after all that information we know that you're going to enjoy more the Murphy family from Corbin Kentucky I'm going to a place so fast There'll be no pain, no sickness there, for God Himself with His own hands will dry my tears in glory land, and come go with me.
He's so good to each and every one of us. He's watched over us another day to be here, and we truly thank the Lord for everything that he does. And we can't go through life without uh, expecting something good to happen. And just whenever you least expect it, that's when the Lord moves and, and he gives you a blessing. And buddy, it's just on top of the world. <laughs> But we truly love the Lord tonight and thank Him for everything that He does. And, you know, we, we've we been, I guess, over a little over a year since we had been here last. And we've been down a lot of roads and up a lot of mountains and crossing a few hills and valleys. <laughs> and we've wore out our vehicle, but we're still traveling for the Lord. But now I'm pastoring a church down close to Jellicoe, Tennessee. And if y'all would like to come and be with us sometime, it's... Uh, just a few minutes off of the interstate, about three miles off of the interstate there on I-75. And uh, just give us a call. We'll give you more directions to the church. And you're more than welcome to come and be with us. And the girls and I are singing there. And, of course, there's about 1,400 other singers there, too. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> no, we, we've got several singers. And they, I tell you, just feel the Lord when you come into the house. What are we going to do next, Tiff? Praise his name. All right, go ahead. We can get through the trials, ain't it? It's just praise His name. 
when we're down in the valley, the Bible tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And he said, they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. And if we constantly just say we ain't going to make it, we ain't going to make it, we ain't going to make it, well, we ain't going to make it. We've got to have a little faith and say, I'm going to make it. We're going to come out of this one way or the other with the Lord on our side, and we will make it. Praise the Lord. Truly love the Lord tonight. Now, I think we was, I don't know if Stephanie had wrote this song the, the last time we were here, but she was going through one of those trials. You know how that goes, and it seems like everything comes against you. But in the midst of the trial, the Lord gave her a song, and she wrote this song. Her and Tiffany put it together, so uh, we'll let them sing it for you, and and it's called Wait On Me. You're going through a battle Seems you'll never make
Thank you, Lord. I tell you, I, I tell you, we have to wait on the Lord for everything that we get, don't we? He says, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And I tell you, sometimes in the midst of the storm, you're like, where's all my strength, Lord? <laughs> but he always comes through for us every time. He's never let us down, and I can't read nowhere in the Bible where he's ever lost a battle. He's always been there through every heartache and trial for every one of his children. And, you know, sometimes I wonder, I'm like, Lord, how can you take care of everybody that's in this world? All the millions of people that are out there, how can you do it? And then he tells me, Russell, that's just how great that I am. That's how big a God that I am. I hold the whole world in the palm of my hand. And tonight, my friend, he's got you, he's got me, and I, I can't thank him enough for everything that he's done for me. Here a while back, I, I think it was back in March, I had a, a stroke, and they sent me to the hospital, and and was really messed up there for a little bit and I was just you know out of it and they rushed me to the hospital they put me in for about a week and and during that time that I was there the stroke actually helped me I know a lot of people might not believe that but I believe it was a miracle of God that you know he had to come on the scene to do all that he done and I used to have seizures sister Margaret I used to have all kinds of medical problems but ever since March the Lord has really touched my body. I've not had no more seizures, not had any more real bad pains. You know, I have every headaches every now and then and stuff like that. But I, I have really been blessed by the Lord, and, and I can't thank him enough for everything that he's done. He's, he's been there for every time that I was down in the valley. He's been there whenever I was on top of the mountain, you know, and just thanking him. And, and just like with the church, you know, he, he blessed in such a way on that. I, I can't thank him enough for everything that he does. And if we wait on him in due season, he will surely give us a blessing. And wait on me. Huh? Oh, okay. Just one step. All right. We'll do that knee. <laughs> thank you, Lord. That we, it's been a little while since we've connected with one another, and we don't we don't have no schedule that we're going by, <laughs> and we have to kind of talk it out. Which one are we going to do next? <laughs> so this is a song that I wrote too, just to hear a while back, going through another one of those trials. When you go through those trials, you learn from them, and this is a song that the Lord gave me a a, a good friend of ours. And she was backslid on the Lord and. And she was telling me, you know, all these excuses why she couldn't come back to the Lord. And, and I began to talk to her. I said, sis, it just takes one step to come back to the master's house. And while we were on the phone, I told her, I said, man, that'd be a good idea for a song. And so I went home that evening and, and wrote this song. And, and I'll send this song out to Crystal. I hope she's listening in. And also we want to thank God for everything that he does and we want to remember a good friend of ours uh, Richard Rogers he passed away uh, last Friday or last Thursday and a good friend known him probably 30 years or longer and really going to miss that fine brother but I tell you I, I thank God for everything he does and and this also was for Sister Kay a lady I met today over in Corbin and we'll send this out to her also He's waiting there to come. 
comfort you Just make that first step And it'll take you all the way home Like the prodigal son I'd wandered from my father's house And eating with the swine Oh, I felt so much shame But I remember what he said the day I left him When you've had enough child just make that first step toward home. Thank you, Lord. Just one step will take you back to the Father's house. Just one step will take away all of your pain. With outstretched arms, he's waiting there to comfort you. Just make that first step, and it'll take you all the way home. Just make that first step, and it'll take you all the way home. That's all it takes, honey, just one step to get you back to the Father's house. Glory to God. Just making that one step down on your knees and just calling out upon his name. Bless the Lord. He's there in a twinkling of an eye. I truly love the Lord tonight. Thank you, sweet Lord.
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Truly love the Lord tonight. I want to send this out also to all of our members down at uh, our church down in Jellico. I reckon a bunch of them is listening tonight, watching, and uh, hope we don't make you look too bad. <laughs> but the name of our church is New Beginning Church of God. It's uh, just a little ways north coming out of Jellico, Tennessee on Old 25. You take Old 25 out of Jellico like you're going back up toward Williamsburg, and uh, as soon as you come out of town, there's a fork in the road. It's a... Uh, 1804 and you just turn right on 1804 and it's up there about a mile and a half on the left so you're welcome to come be with us and we'll pray for you preach at you preach on you or something <laughs> but we love the lord and we truly appreciate him for everything that he does excuse me that he does um let's do
for being my friend. Yes, I do, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We'll send this one out to Dennis and Jonathan. Little Dennis, he's my buddy. <laughs> In this race that I've started, no turning back. Gotta keep my eyes on that narrow path. At times when I've wandered, Lord strengthens me. Now I'm running on home now. Heaven's waiting for me. Gonna run on home now. Hear him calling me. I see the line of that city And when I get there Oh, I never have a care I'm gonna run on home now They're waiting for me there A great cloud of angels They're cheering me on They know I'm tired And I can't make it alone But at the end of this journey I'll be set free Now I'm almost home now Heaven's gates I see Gonna run on home now Hear him calling me I see the line Of that city And when I get there Oh I never have a care Gonna run on home now The wait for me there Waiting for me there. Now some seek for wealth down here, some look for fame. I look for Jesus with him I'll reign. I'm just a pilgrim here, soon I'll be gone. Nothing can hold me here, I'm heading home. I said now, nothing can hold me here, I'm heading On streets of gold and I'm singing around gospel Nothing can hold me here I'm heading home Thank you, Lord Now if I should die down here Oh, that trumpet sounds When they lay my body in the cold, cold ground You don't have to cry for me Don't sing no sad song Nothing can hold me here I'm heading I said now nothing can hold me here I'm heading home Heaven and gates are near It won't be long until I'm walking on streets of gold And I'm singing around God's strong Nothing can hold me here I'm heading home Thank you Lord Thank you Lord <laughs> I was about to go on there ain't no grave <laughs> And I run out of breath. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Truly love the Lord tonight. Sing that one song, uh, Tiff. Uh, Heaven will be worth the journey. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Well, sometimes I get so weary traveling this old road. I cry. Come and help me bear this heavy load. But in the stillness of the night, he comes along and makes my load oh so light. Heaven be worth the journey when I get there. Oh, heaven will be worth the journey when I get there. Oh, in that city will be so wonderful, so bright and fair. When I see Jesus sitting on the throne, I'll 
be so glad for every time I make myself press on. Heaven to be worth the journey when I get there. There's been times I've been testing, I've been trying, and many times I've had the victory, sometimes I fail, but when I start to get down along the way, oh, something in my soul.
that trumpet sound I'm gonna get up out of the dang ground Cause there ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down Thank you, Lord I'm going down to the river of Jordan I'm gonna bury my knees in the sand I'm gonna holler high hoes And until I reach that promised land Well, meet me, Jesus, I'll meet me Cause I ain't no grave Ain't gonna hold my body down Well, there ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down Thank you, Lord When I hear that trumpet sound Ain't gonna get up out of that ground Cause I ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down Well, you can take me down to the graveyard Lay my body down With no cable blows that trumpet And I'm gonna come up out of that ground Well, meet me, Jesus, I'll meet me Oh, meet me in the middle of the air And let me swing she fell me, Lord I won't need no other part Because I ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my well, there ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down Thank you, Lord When I hear that trumpet sound I'm gonna get up out of that ground Cause there ain't no grave I'm gonna hold my body down Thank you, Lord Before you leave the uh, stage there, tell us about where your church is. Okay, it's, um, it's, on, it's in a place called Fairview, Kentucky. It's real close to the state line of um, Jellicoe there. But if you're coming out of Jellicoe on Old 25, it's probably about a mile out of town. And it's uh, on 1804. You turn right and go about a mile and a half, and it's on the left. <laughs> I think it's about right. It's uh, 4279 is the number over the church. So we'd love to have everyone of them come be with us. It's been so good to have the Murphy family with us tonight. And like I say, they've been coming a number of years. And uh, what, about 18, 18 years? Uh, they've been coming. We saw the girls when they were just uh, very small growing up. And now they're... <clears throat> they're all grown up and still singing for the Lord. The Murphy family from Corbin, Kentucky, 606-515-1670. You be sure and be praying for uh, this family, especially Stephanie and her new oncoming baby. All right, uh, we have a praise report here from Rock Castle. Uh, for uh, Judy has called for Mark, said uh, her son was diagnosed with cancer a year ago, but every report since then has been good. No, no, uh, said it's in remission and they're thanking God. And here's the Pam, the daughter of the faith builders. Uh, they, uh, she has called and uh, uh, had a, I said a daughter has had a, four teeth cut out today and she really needs prayer and they was commenting about how good the Murphys uh, are doing. They used to sing for them, I believe, uh, some. And uh, uh, anyway, uh, there's uh, several song requests. Letha Gamble is in the hospital wanting to hear the song Paradise. Several other uh, uh, song requests, but uh, like I said, we have, uh, we have a lot of uh, singing tonight and a lot of good phone operators upstairs, so, uh, but you continue to pray now for the Murphy family. And now we have uh, our next singer he is um, Edith Ellis Likens, and she does have CDs also. And she remembered to stick a, a couple of them in her purse and uh, bring them to show us tonight. Now, her phone number is. Um, 606-792-8276. And uh, she's from the Words, Words of Encouragement Ministries in Sawyersville, Kentucky. 
All right, we are going to go over now and see what Edith has for us to sing. Praise the Lord. Glad to be here. I said, I feel like I've been in camp meeting. When you listen to that, you feel like you've just, just been in camp meeting, and I'm just praising the Lord over there and, and enjoying every minute of it. And, you know, I just want to praise the Lord for being back and, and praising the Lord for what He's doing in my life and, and being able to see saved people get saved and delivered and set free. And, and I know that I've been standing in faith myself, as the sister said earlier, standing in faith for myself, for my own healings. But God is a God that is faithful. And if we are faithful to Him, He is faithful to us. I want to send this song out to Josh. He's a little buddy of mine. He likes this song, and I, I told him I'd try to sing it for him tonight, and I'm going to go ahead and start it with it. There's a fire burning in my soul, reaching deep inside, it's fueled by the Holy Ghost. Fun I can see now it's crystal clear This fire that's burning can save my soul from hell See me now a soldier for the call Don't underestimate the power done for me 
And the hope that I have can lead you to him can help feeling that you can have it all. Don't harden up your heart. Let him have complete control. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I thank the Lord for that. That's a, that's a song that I wrote for some young people that is in our church. And uh, they seem to like it pretty good. So I try to sing it for them every so often. And this is another song that the Lord blessed me with. And as I was sitting this past few weeks ago, the Lord hadn't wrote for a little while. And um, God just began to give me one song and as I was doing it the next morning I got up to finish it and I was in the kitchen and cleaning up and all of a sudden I had another tune in my head and I thought that's not what I was doing last night and and the Lord blessed me actually within two days to write two songs and and I thank the Lord for it, it, it I hope it blesses your heart No longer bound by sin For 
my God, he has set me free And I will serve him all my days And I will never stray away With every breath that I will take I'll tell the world of his amazing grace Take me to the river the Lord. You know, I testified last month and uh, about some of the stuff that I've been going through. And I was telling Sister Margaret tonight that ever since that night here, there's been a change. There's been a change in my ministry. There's been a change. I, I prayed for people many times that were sick and afflicted. I prayed for people that that needed salvation, but something changed that night when I was here. And ever since then, I've had so many that have called me, so many that have have asked me to pray for them and, and dire needs. And, you know, when you begin to look at other people and you begin to look at their needs, your needs become very small. You know, sometimes we have a tendency, or the devil does, you know, to blow up our circumstances so big that we can't see beyond our own needs. But God doesn't expect us to look at our own needs. He needs us to look at other needs because we are to be his hands. We are to be his heart. We are to be his feet. And we are to stand out there and do what we can for Christ. And that's what I want to do. If every breath I take, I pray that I, I worship him, that I give him glory. Thank you, Jesus. This is a song the Lord gave me just to stand still in my circumstances. And I want you to listen to this because you can do the same thing. Stand still in your circumstances. Stay in faith for what you're believing in. Hallelujah. Stand still And let God move Stand in So hard to do, and when you feel you've reached the end, oh, he'll make way for you. Stand still and let God move, and the Father. Has a plan, though it's hard to see it now, and you feel you're walking all alone, but he is there, no doubt. And when the storms around you rages and you're tossed to and fro. And when you're faced with life's decisions And not sure which way to go Just stand still And let God move Standing still is so hard to do God move when the enemy surrounds you and the walls are closing in and when the tide is swiftly rising and you wonder where he's been 
And there's never been one moment That his arms aren't reaching out And you can rest sure and be secure That God is moving now Oh, stand still And let God move Standing so hard to do and when you feel you've reached the end oh he'll make way for you just stand still oh yes Lord and let God move yes I'm gonna stand still God move. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, an old song was on my heart earlier. I, I'm going to try it. But it's, it's been an old song. His Eyes on the Sparrow. You know, I like that song because the scripture tells us that if he cares so much for even the sparrow, you know, how much more would he care for us and what we're going through? And uh, I'd like to send this out tonight to my great aunt and uncle, Flory and Willie Isaac, to uh, my aunt and uncle, Dorothy and Pud Conley, and then to some good friends of mine, Mary and Jeff Harper, and pray that this will bless you. Why should I be discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When she Jesus is my portion, he's a constant friend, is he, for his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches. His tender words I hear, and I'm resting in His goodness, and I lose all my doubts and fears. Though by When 
discouraged and when you feel down just remember that he's always watching you he's always got his eyes on you and he's always caring about what you're going through thank you Jesus in the morning when I rise in the morning when I rise in the morning, when I rise, give me Jesus, oh Jesus, in the morning. the morning when I rise in the morning when I rise just give me Jesus oh sweet Jesus oh give me
Tonight, I just feel the presence of the Lord and how good he is. And he is so good to us. And this one just says, I just want to thank you, Lord. It's a good song. Many of you may know it. You may just want to sing it at home while we're singing it. And give thanks to the Lord for what he's done for you. Just want to thank you. want to thank you for always being there when I was so down and out you came along and made me want to shout I just want to Sing it with me at home and begin to praise him. If I had a thousand lives to give, I'd give them all to my Lord, for he's been so good to me. That is the least that I can. Hallelujah. I just want to thank you, Lord, for every time you heard me pray. I just want to thank you for always being there. All right, thank you so much. Edith Ellis Likens, and she does have CDs for sale. You may call her at 606-792-8278, and she'll be glad to share uh, the information with you about that. We have a number of requests that has come in. Uh, some folks saying that the service was just especially for them because of the needs in their life, and uh, there's many in here that has cancer, different stages, and in hospitals with, uh, you know, different things wrong and 
uh, a lot of different, uh, uh, here's someone that's real depressed because her dad has passed away, and there's a lot of pain represented here. But we have Brother Russell uh, Murphy back up with us, and so he's going to lead us in prayer about this for these. All right. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you this evening, Lord, believing and trusting in you, God, for everything that you do. And Lord, you told us in your word, if they would be any two on earth, that will agree together. Lord, as touching anything, believing and asking in the name of Jesus that it shall be done. And Lord, you know each and every one of the requests. Lord, you know each and every heart, Lord, and each and every need. Lord, each and every one of them, Lord, needs that special touch from you, Lord. And Lord, you're the only one that can move, God, and we're asking and believing right now, Father. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, that you would just reach down your mighty hand. Lord, and touch each and every one of them, Lord, no matter how how big or how small the need is. Lord, we're agreeing upon your word, Lord, that you are the healer, you're the deliverer, and most of all, you're our Savior. Yes. And Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do on each and every one of these requests. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, well, uh, he, uh, he said, uh, he told us a little about his church that he's pastoring now. A lot of you have known this uh, Murphy family for many years. They've been coming 18, 20 years. And so they, uh, uh, so tell us again about where your church is located. Now we get a lot of calls from Tennessee. Mm -hmm. And so we know there's a lot of folk down there, especially around Jellicoe that, um, right. uh, that listens. And so tell us again a little about your church and the time of your services and the location and so forth. Okay. Um, yeah, now if you're coming out of Jellicoe, it's, um, you take old 25 like you're going back up north toward Williamsburg. It's on Highway 25. About a mile out of town, there'll be a road It's 1804. You'll turn right on 1804 and go about a mile and a half, and it's on the left. Now, we have it on Thursday nights at 7, and Sunday, now we're starting to have our Sunday school at 4.30. Of course, our services start at 6 on Sunday. So we'd love to have everyone to come out and be with us. And again, you know, on our um, uh, phone number, if you'd like to call and find out more about the church or location or uh, anything about CDs or anything, you can just call us and let us know. Our, our number again is 606-515-1670. Uh, and you can call us anytime. We, we're up and down all through the night praying anyway, so if you ever need prayer, you just call us and let us know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the name of your church is uh, New Beginnings Church of God? New Beginning Church of God. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, that's, uh, that's the new name. We, we're just starting there, and the Lord is blessing, so that's the name of the church, New Beginning Church of God. Okay. All right. Well, these folk have, uh, this family has traveled for years and years uh, going every place to sing and now now they're kind of settling down to do some pastoring so yeah. i'm sure that uh, if you're in the area and you'd like to go and hear some good singing like you heard tonight uh now uh, stephanie she might take a little break here before long to have her baby but uh, <laughs> uh she'll uh, she'll be right back i'm sure when uh, when that's all lined up. Well, we appreciate all the singing that we've had tonight, the phone operators. We've had the Murphy family. We've had Edith uh, Ellis Likens from Salyersville. And, and you know, um, we can all go home and say we have done what we could to uplift the name of the Lord. No one was uh, pushing themselves tonight, but point, we are all trying to point you to the one that can help you as the psalm that I read, he, forget, he can forgive all of our sins and heal all of our diseases and give us new strength. And so we trust that you have found what you need in your life. And if not, just keep praying. Keep praying because over and over, it, uh, there's stories in the Bible about how it takes a while to get a prayer through uh, because the enemy can hinder. He can put things in the way uh, to hinder uh, healing or uh, 
different things, whatever you're waiting on. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a job. There's a lot of folk out of job, out of work right now, and they're mm -hmm. having a hard time. You drive by the roads at different ones and see so many houses up for sale because they no longer can make the payments, and it's really sad. And see all these little stores and business places uh, closing down. It's just a it's just a time that we need the Lord like never before, and so that's what we why we always like to encourage you to look to Him for what you need. Amen. All right, we we have another mender. So Russell, you have something else you want to say? Um, Sister Margaret, I was just looking through some of the prayer requests, and you know. There's people hurting with uh, all kinds of sicknesses, yes. their backs and their heart. And, you know, a lot of them have broken hearts and uh, just a number of things that they're having to go through. And, and I myself have been through so many different trials. And I can honestly say that through it all, every bit of it, the Lord has been with me through it all. Even when I thought I could not walk another mile, He was right there to make a way where there seemed to be none. And... I want to just tell everybody, you know, it might look a little grim right now and seems like that there's no hope in sight. But if you hold on to Jesus, I can guarantee you He will make a way. Somehow, some way, He'll always be on time. And I know you've probably heard that a thousand times, but it's still the truth. He will always be there just in time. He sure will. Yes. And just, just hold on to God. That's all I can say. Just keep holding on. Yes. Well, that's what we do and that's what... Uh Everyone else has to also That's because right. <laughs> we it grows us in our faith when we when we go through a trial and he uh, brings us through to the other side then we know where our help came from. Well, our time has come and gone for another service tonight. So from all of us here in the studio, we want to say good night and God bless you.
precious neighbor. 